While connecting to a database in Visual Studio Code is not required, it may prove helpful as you write queries and interact with the database during the development process. This video demonstrates how to create a connection within VS Code and use it to write and test queries as well as view database table structures and content. VS Code needs an extension to perform these tasks. The database being used in this video is MariaDB, which is a MySQL compatible, and the tool has to be capable of working with this type of database. Two extensions will be used, SQL Tools and SQL Tools MySQL MariaDB, both my Mateus Teria. To begin, start your web and database servers. In this video, I am using Champ. Once the servers have successfully started, check the port being used by the database server. In my case, the default 3306 port is being used. It is also assumed that the database to be worked with is installed inside of the local database server. Prior to configuring the connection in VS Code, you will need four pieces of information. The port number, the server name or its IP address, the database name, and the user credentials, including username and password. With these items at hand, launch VS Code and make sure both extensions are installed and enabled. Click on the database icon in the activity panel. At the top, find the connections bar and click the add new connection icon. Choose the appropriate driver. In my case, I'm using MariaDB. A new document will open and prompt you for the information. The connection name is only a label to help you identify the connection from any others that you may create later. Name it clearly and uniquely to identify it from any others that you may create. The default server address of localhost and port of 3306 are correct in my environment. These may need adjusting depending upon your installation. Finally, I will add the name of my database. In my case, it is PHP Motors, all lowercase. Then I will add the username for the database. The proxy user should have already been created. In my case, the name is iClient. The Use Password box is a drop-down. You can leave it as Ask on Connect, but that will require you entering the connection password each time you connect. I will change my setting to Save Password and then enter the actual password in the new password text box. Finally, I will scroll down, accepting all other default settings, and click Test Connection. If a green message appears with the connection successful, then click the Save Connection button. The new connection should appear in the connections list at the top left corner of the SQL Tools window. If the connection is present, click the plug icon to the right of the name. If everything works, you are now connected to the database and it will, will appear beneath the connection. If there are other databases that can be accessed with the same user and credentials, they will appear as well. You can expand the database in order to view the tables, fields, and data. To view the data for a table, drill down until the table is visible. Then click the looking glass icon, which should have a tooltip of Show Table Records. Wait a moment while the data is queried. A new results window will open showing the query used at the top and then the columns and data beneath. To write your own queries to interact with the database, return to the Connections label and click the New SQL File icon. Write your query or queries in the file, making sure to end each one with a semicolon. Be sure to click on the database in the Connections list so that it is highlighted. Then click the Run on Active Connection icon or text at the top of the file. A new frame should open on the right showing the data or result of the query. The query or queries, if there are more than one in the file, will run and the results will appear. Each query, if there is more than one, will appear in its own tab. 
If a query fails, go back to the SQL file, alter your query, save and run the file again. When done, simply click the unplug icon to the right of the connection name. This is a handy way to see data as well as the names of databases, tables, and fields while writing code in VS Code.